Let's create a Gradle project inside of VS Code. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open up the extensions and type in Gradle and then install Gradle for Java. I already have it installed here, but you'll just hit the install button and it will install this extension. You'll also want to install the Java extension pack for VS Code. And this is called extension pack for Java. You can type in Java to search for it and install this. This will allow us to basically run the application inside of VS Code. Once you have both of those installed, you may need to restart VS Code, but you may not as well. If we open up the Explorer here in VS Code, we'll have a few different options, and one of them is to create a Java project. Here we can click on this, and it should open up a menu up here where we can select a build tool. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna select Gradle. Now it's asking you where you want the source code to be. Now this will be where the files are located, so we're gonna actually have to create a folder inside of our parent directory. Sometimes these commands will create the folder for you, and sometimes they just throw all of the source code inside of the folder that you select. For this particular one, we actually have to create a folder. So we'll go to new, we'll say folder. I'll call this Gradle project, and then I will open up this folder and hit select. Now it's asking me, do I want to use Groovy or do I want to use Kotlin as my build script? This is the domain specific language that allows you to create tasks inside of your application so that you can do testing or you could run the application or pretty much anything. The default DSL is to use Groovy, so that's what I'm gonna use for this project. Now it's asking you for a project name. I'll name this the Gradle project and I'll hit enter. Once it's created, it's gonna ask you, hey, do you wanna open this up inside of VS Code? And so we'll open it up so that we can see the source. So now you can see on the left-hand side, we have all of our folders, as well as our Gradle wrapper, which is the recommended way to run Gradle. You have this batch file and this shell script, each for their own operating system. For me, I use the batch file since I'm on Windows, but this will call the Gradle jar that ends up running any of your tasks that you're going to have written inside of your build script. So if we open up the app, we can see that we have a build folder, which is just gonna be your target directory. We have our source, which is going to house our main application. And then we have our build.gradle file, which is essentially where our tasks are going to be ran from. So inside of this generated build script, we actually have an application that we could run. So here we have an application task and it automatically sets the main class to the main class that it generated. So what we can do is we can hit control shift P or you can go to view and then command palette and it opens up this command palette. Then we can type in Gradle and then we can go to run a Gradle build. If we hit enter, it then asks you, hey, what do you want to run? For us, since we created this application task, we can run the run task of the application. So if we type in run and hit enter, it automatically runs our class and we can see that we print out hello world. And that is consistent with what our main class is doing. App.getGreeting, get greeting, prints out hello world. So now say we wanna run this without using Gradle, we can actually still use the Java extension pack for VS Code. And how we do that is we have to have the app.java open. We go up to these three dots, we go to run, and then we do run without debugging. And it will automatically run the application and print out hello world just like we had before. Personally, I would probably run the build.gradle application task because I think it is a little bit more consistent on how it works. Since you're already using Gradle as a build tool, you might as well utilize its functionalities inside of the build script. It's also worth noting that you can find a Gradle task. So say you forget what tasks you're trying to run, you can actually go to find Gradle task and then you can start typing something. So we have run, we have app.run, we could also do build, we could do anything in here and you can scroll through all of these to try to figure out, okay, what tasks does it actually have? Another way that you can run tasks is you actually have a Gradle tab over here. If you click on it, it gives you the Gradle project, your recent tasks and your Gradle daemons. If we open up Gradle projects, we can then see all of the tasks for our application. And inside of our application, we have the run task, which we've already talked about. We also have the build and we can build the application. We could build classes. We could build it into a jar. We also have a distribution that allows us to create a zip file or install into a distribution directory. And we can basically run any tasks that we have inside of this build script. So that is how you create and run a Gradle project inside of VS Code.